This man has a did not finish rate of 40%, bro. 40%. 40%. Almost. Bro. You already know this is the kind of guy that's going to leave, man. Let's see. Who do you want to use? Uh, why not? Julio. Oh, here we go. Here we go. By the way, that's how you say his first name, right? It's Julio, right? Not, not Julio. I think it's Julio. Julio Cesar Chavez. It's one of those names that uh, the spelling is not, and the, the spelling and the way you pronounce it is not quite a, uh, is not the most intuitive thing in the world. But man, let's go, let's go, let's go. Interesting win loss record right there. I I miss. I uh, I'm really enjoying boxing gaming. I just put it that way. Really enjoying boxing gaming. Let's see what we can do against this boy right here. My fighter is tall, 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 and he is using a shorter fighter. So he's gonna have to try to find his way on the inside. And you know the you know the you know the drill. Kill the body. The head follows, but this dude. There you go. Woo, man. Yes. This is going to be a freaking clinic, ladies and gentlemen. This will be a clinic, man. I can already see it. Mm-hmm. It's up to you, sir. You got to find your way on the inside, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get a fight with, uh, with Julio Cesar Chavez. I've seen a few people pick him uh, while I play, and uh, so far, it's like he's popular. Like, a lot of people are picking him, which means that there's got to be something about him that uh, people really like. Maybe it's just, you know, just who he is. Maybe that's what it is. You know, I know a lot of people are big, big fans of him, um, but he might also just be pretty damn good at the game, so I'm, I'm going to try to get a fight with him see what's up. He's short, though. Compared to some of these other guys in this weight class. So we're gonna have to find our way on the inside. Probably using oh this is my round, bro. This is like not even close. Yeah, I don't this I don't think this is gonna be a, a competitive one, bro. Like he's not really or may, maybe maybe he's just maybe he's reading me, right? <laughs> maybe he's just reading me and in the next round or something, he's gonna. By the way, I've seen comments, right? You know, I don't wanna say I've seen comments. I've seen a comment. But I, it was such a ridiculous comment. Oh, he's cut. I just I just looked down on my phone because I'm trying to find the comment. But I noticed, just noticed he's cut. But yeah, seen a comment. Usually don't, usually rarely ever address one single comment, but it. It's such a ridiculous comment. I it's like I feel like I gotta some someone said that I I coordinate with my friends and match up with the you know, what are you doing, bro? You don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna pick you apart from here, bro. Yeah, someone said I coordinate with my friends in, in both UFC and, and Fight Night. And uh I pay them to uh to beat me up in the first two rounds and then uh let me figure them out in the third round so i can so i can demonstrate my uh incredible gaming abilities that's quite that's quite the conspiracy brother that's quite the conspiracy that is quite the conspiracy
Yeah, here, here, go. I'm gonna try to read, read, read this out. You know, maybe I'm just gonna make a video on it. <laughs> it's such a dumb thing to make a video on, but bro, I, it's it's it is also so comical. I'm just gonna do like a video on it. Why not? Oh boy, dude, this is getting ugly. My man is bleeding, dude. Wow, look at the blood all over the place. Man, damn. It's great. Relax. How you feeling out there? Damn. No, you're not winning this fight, right? You're not winning. No, he knows. Come on he now. He knows he's not there. winning the fight. There's no way he doesn't know he's not winning the fight. Come on. He just, he definitely, he needs to, he needs to be really pushing the pace. Of course, that's gonna, you know, open him up a lot more, but I think, I think him pushing the pace is gonna be, like, it's it's gonna be far more um, beneficial to him than what he, whatever he's doing right now. Tommy Hearns is so tall for this weight class, bro. <laughs> He's so freaking tall. Pretty much what I'm doing is, I mean, it's, 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 a lot of these tactics all stay the same regardless of the game. It's like, He's throwing a lot of stationary strikes. So I'm like pretty much going in and out. I tag him, I back up a little bit, he whiffs. I come back in, tag him, he whiffs. Rinse and repeat. See like right there? And I, I'm just like getting myself to a range where I can hit him and he can't hit me. And I'm throwing like pop, 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 pop. I go pop, 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 pop. That's kind of like the range I'm going. I mean, the rhythm I'm going. And... Uh-huh. Uh, when you go with like a rhythm like that, you just like, just... There you go. Sneaking in. Like sneak in here. Sneak in there. Sneak in there. Pop, pop. When you go with a rhythm like that, while they're just ripping combos over and over again, you find that you're just sneaking in small shots here and there. Just sipping away at their stamina, man. Loving that, Jer that, that, uh, what's it called? Jerry Curl? <laughs> you know, I would not have mind, uh, minded being born in that era. The, the, the era of the Jerry Curl. Where every man walking around with, with nice, that, that nice curly hair. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, alright? Got that? You have to take a risk. All right, listen. We need to create more counters, okay? This corner is telling him to take a risk. I mean, that's that's what he needs to do. Yeah, I mean, come on now. Come on now. Every round, of course, of course. Yeah. You know, I completely, I will always, always disagree with more than one thing being tied to the left stick, right? It's like, I forget what game it was. I think it was, uh, like, the left stick... In a fighting game like this, should 100% be de uh, devoted to movement. That's it. 
And when I say movement, I'm talking about one type of movement. Straight up. Straight up, um. Either, like, normal, like, locomotion or, like, lunges, man. Fight Night allows you to, like, spin the stick or rotate the, the stick as you're moving forward towards the opponent. And you do, like, the little, like, in and out bob and weave thing to try to enter the pocket. And to me, it's it's just so piss poor. I, I hate it. I hate that, it, that it's tied to the left stick because, like, a lot of times when you just move your stick regularly... Like, like right there it does it and you're not trying to do it and I ask me why I'm standing directly in front of this guy I don't know let me, I'm just, let me just see see if I can have a different kind of fight with him and that probably lost me this round so we probably won't do that again let's see my stamina you're letting this guy get away. All right. Come on. But yeah, this is it. You've got to tying that to the to the left stick, you know, I, to me is just piss poor. Like, you don't want any, you don't want things that could happen by mistake when it's tied to movement. Like movement in a video game like this has to, everything has to be precise, and it has to be designed in a way that the player can't can't make like dumb mis not, I don't want to say dumb mistakes but like, like there's a very small chance of players doing things they don't intend to do in the heat of the moment you know it's so like I don't think movement movement controls should be the, the, the thing that like requires so much pinpoint precision from the player's part like, I should be able to just be confident that I can move my left stick you know I want to move actually I can just move and I'm not gonna mistakenly trigger that bullshit it's just, it's just a terrible design, man. I think it should have been tied to like, should have. Oh my god! I got rocked. I got rocked. Like two things that will happen. It's kind of like in, I believe it was UFC on Disputed 3, a tied, uh, your ability to switch stance, like, when you press down on the left, this dude just switched his stance. What the hell? That was so, so, so random, and... <laughs> the coinkidink. What a coinkidink. But yeah, I believe it was UFC on Disputed 3 that... Uh, the, the, the stand switch to uh, pressing down on the, on the left stick also piss poor design because then you're like you're trying to move sometimes you're gonna mistakenly click down on your left stick and then next thing you know it's like oh shit I've switched my stand didn't mean to do that got him can I sit him down no relax 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 you don't want to you don't want to have you know, a bunch of shit tied to the left stick. Leave the left stick for just regular movement and your lunges. You know, your dash, your lunge to the left, lunge. If I flick, you know, give me a lunge. But besides that, don't tie anything else to it. Keep moving, keep moving. You know, this is the one thing that, uh, this is the one area that God of War, like, excels to a level that I don't think I've ever experienced in any other game, ever. Like, the, 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 um, accessibility. It's like, they thought about every kind of player, man. Like, you know, the, the blind players, um, players with, like, you know, one limb, players with a bunch of disabilities, um, players who are colorblind. All kinds of, all kinds of disabilities, man. They thought about it and they made the game, they designed the game in a way that every single type of player will be able to enjoy it. And I think in 2022, this is the sort of thing that game developers need to be thinking about. You, you can't, you can't, you can't just make like, you can't just make these like random, random decisions without thinking about like, you know, the comfort of the player that's using, using the controls, right? It's like, I was so... I also think it's... Oh, hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, this is where it gets bad. This is where it gets bad. 
Oh, you're about to get set down. Oh, I got you pinned, bro. You need to move forward. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, man. He's also cut on the left side. Damn. Let me see if I can get a thumbnail here. Trying to find the right angle for a thumbnail. He's up. There you go. Relax, relax. Um, I'm also relax. hoping that, uh, as right, you know, move, in, well, in 2020, move. as time progresses, that players are given the ability to map controls. Like, I don't don't just design your game and go, this is exactly the controls you're going to use. Like, bitch, what the hell are you doing? And I, you know, I say that with all due respect, but like, what if I don't like I allow me to to map the controls to where I want it like if I if, if I want if I want to move around the freaking cage with, with my right stick allow me to do it god damn it you know what I mean like um if head movement is tied to one 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 um control that and I want to switch it because the other is more comfortable for me allow me to do it like I just think, you know, games have the ability to do that these days. I don't see why not. Oh, you're stuck again. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Anytime I pin him against the cage, he needs to move forward. You can't just sit there. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, we're about to tee off on him. Oh, my God. Oh, hook, hook. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh man, that was a beatdown, bro. Watch that again. Oh man, that was a fucking beatdown. And he's gone. He's gone. I figured, man. I figured. Did not finish a forty. For what forty percent? That's what happens, man. He just he rarely finishes his fights, but man. That was an absolute beatdown at the end right there, bro. We pinned that dude against the ring and just teed off. He stood there trying to move his head, and I just bop, 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 bop. Head, body, body, head, head, body. Man, that was brutal. It was absolutely brutal. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was just giving my thoughts here and there about controls. I think it's very important that it's, you know, it's comfortable for the player. All kinds of players to the best of your ability. But, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, if you did, leave a like. Follow me on Instagram at MarshallMindArt. And I will see you guys later with more undisputed gameplay, okay? As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.